Alright, this edition we're having a look at Resident Evil, The Umbrella Chronicles for the Wii. This game is okay for the most part, however, you have to be a Resident Evil fan to truly appreciate it. We'll begin with the gameplay. Umbrella Chronicles is a rail shooter that plays very similarly to a game like House of the Dead, though a bit spiced up. You start off each mission with a pistol with infinite ammo, one optional weapon with a finite amount of ammo, and three grenades. Each mission has hordes of zombies, dogs, and other enemies from the Resident Evil series that you must blast your way through in order to survive. Most enemies have a critical hit point that can be exploited for maximum damage, and mastering this is a must if you want to do well in the game. Along the way, you'll find new weapons such as submachine guns, magnums, and rocket launchers to help you on your journey for survival, which you keep after the mission is over. These new weapons then become available for selection as an optional weapon for further missions. In addition, you pick up grenades, health items, and files throughout your mission. Umbrella Chronicles is not your bullet spamming, spray and pray type of rail shooter. Instead, in true Resident Evil fashion, it focuses on tactical weapon selection and you must cycle back and forth between weapons, choosing it based on the situation at hand. Pistols are great for dispatching zombies, but for hunters, you're going to need a bigger gun. By default, you're in gun mode where you point and shoot. However, there is a secondary mode you can enter by holding down the A button. In this secondary mode, you can swing the Wiimote to swing a knife or pull the trigger to throw grenades. Knifing serves a couple of purposes. One, it can stop zombies from grabbing you, and two, it can fend off smaller airborne enemies and leeches. If a zombie does grab you, however, you will be prompted to shake the Wiimote which will allow you to perform a lethal counterattack. However, don't rely on this too much because the game prevents it from being abused. Sometimes you will encounter a fork in the road and will have to choose which path to take. In addition, some missions have a two-player mode where you can play with a friend. The only drawback to this is that you have to share the same life bar. At the end of each mission, you receive a score. This score is based on a multitude of factors such as number of kills, time to completion, and how many files you picked up. Along with your score, you receive stars which can be used to upgrade your weapons and the higher the score, the more stars you receive. The stages are primarily based off scenes from previous Resident Evil games. The first stage takes us back to Resident Evil Zero where Billy and Rebecca are on the train and eventually you end up fighting the giant scorpion. Mini missions are like replaying certain parts of previous games but in the form of a rail shooter which, if you're a Resident Evil buff, will certainly remember. Each stage has three main missions and two to four sub-missions. The main missions tend to come from recycled story from previous titles, where the sub-missions tend to be new storyline and fill in some of the holes in the Resident Evil story. Even with that said, there is one stage that is totally new and some of the other stages have missions that deviate slightly from the original story, so the game does have some fresh content. All in all, you'll relive many of the memories from previous installments, namely Zero, Resident Evil Remake, and 3. You'll encounter many of the previous enemies, relive boss fights in their full glory, and see a few familiar faces. Stars. Umbrella Chronicles also takes elements from other Resident Evil titles that fans will instantly recognize. It would have been nice, however, to see a Resident Evil 2 stage with Leon and Claire, as well as a Code Veronica stage. Despite this, I felt that the game had an adequate amount of content. Overall, I feel this is a decent rail shooter. From a gameplay perspective, if you like rail shooters, then this is right up your alley. If you're a fan of the Resident Evil story, then this is a must. While there's really not anything spectacular about Umbrella Chronicles, it's worth a look if you like Resident Evil or rail shooters. If you don't fall into those categories, then you might want to rent it. That concludes this presentation. Peace out.